Bismillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. So in this occasion, I would like to talk about one of the richest person in Indonesia called Khalil Tanjung. Khalil Tanjung is a man that born in 18 June 1962 that he has a business. He is, a, he is the former coordinating minister for economics in Indonesia cabinet. He was appointed to, the, to this post by President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyo, or we can make it short as Bay. On 19 May 2014, following the resignation of the previous coordinating minister for economics, Hatta Rajasa, who resigned to take part in Indonesia's 2014 presidential election. In 2021, he had an estimate net worth of 4.1 billion US dollars. Khalil Tanjung was born in Jakarta to Abdul Ghafur Tanjung and Halima. His father, a reporter, had established a magazine company, which was shut down by the Sarto regime, resulting in Abdul Ghafur Tanjung having to sell the family's large house and cars to cover that, and the family moved to a small apartment. Khalil graduated for Budi Otomo Senior High School in 1981. He obtained a bachelor's degree bachelor's degree at the Faculty of Dentistry, University of Indonesia. He was named a National Nobel Student in 1984 and 1985. While studying, he and his two friends opened a shop that originally sold books and t-shirts and expanded to sell medical equipment. equipment. In his spare time, Carl conducted business until graduating for, from Disney Street School and establishing PTCC Corp, Kortanyung Corp with a loan of 150 million rupiah from Exim Bank. They produced children's footwear and received an order from Italy for 160 pairs of shoes. But the month later, Carl split from his two friends because of the disagreement over the business. He later became a chairman and founder of Citicorp along with the late founder of Sony, Akil Morita. The business of Carl Tanjung. He worked with Hasbi Hafani to establish the business. He bought Bank Karman and changed his name to Big Mega. He expanded his business interest into insurance and securities. Carl is now involved in the television business. He found Trans TV and acquired Trans TV7 from the Compass Grand Media Group. Carl owns property projects such as Bandung Super Mall, Batam Indah Prospertindo, Parabali Prospertindo, and Mega Indah Prospertindo. In 2012, he bought a minority share of Garuda Indonesia. His holding company is Cit his holding company is Citicorp, formerly Farago, with three sub holdings. First, Megacorp, which oversees financial service in of in three main operations: financial service, Bank Mega, Bank Sulut, Bank Suluteng, Aloba, insurance, Mega Jiwa, Mega Insurance, PFE, Mega Life Partners with per per America. Prudential financing, financing Mega Auto Finance, Mega Central Finance, Transcorp, which oversees two main operations, Media, which op which operates television channel of Trans TV, Trans Seven, CNN Indonesia, CNBC Indonesia, Digital Media, Detikcom, Insertive, Insert Insertlife.com, Habibunda.com, Female Daily, and Direct Broadcast Satellite of Transvision, Retail which operates Transmart, acquired from Care Force Indonesia operation and Metro Department Stores. Fashion operates especially a stores of Aigner Munich, Hugo Boss, Canali, Fine Kapoor, Fine Kapoor Furi, Fur, Furla, Geox, Bima Yale, Lola, and previously operated Mango, Hugo Boss, Versace, Armani, Furla, Uh, Atiene Eichner, Hots, Tommy, Hilfiger, Valentino, Brio, Brioni, Jimmy, Jimmy Chu. F&B, such as Covey Bean and Tea Leaf, Wendy's, Baskin Robbins. Properties which include Trans Studio Malls, Trans Park, and Hotel Chains of Trans Luxury and Licensed Hotel Chain.
campaigns for EVs and fashion TV. Other investments include plant plantations which oversees palm, of palm oil plantation operations such as city plantation, city agro, city global resource, transportation with the investment in Guerrero Indonesia, Indonesian flag carrier and its low cost carriers, subsidiary, 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 Italy, Italy. Okay, so maybe that's all about the biography of one of the richest person in Indonesia, it is Khalil Tanjung. Okay, maybe that's all. Shukran, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.